You are outraged. You believe that hospital staff did not treat you appropriately, and now you want to bring a medical malpractice case against the hospital staff who treated you at the hospital. Can you do that? You want to know the answer? Come join me for a walk along the beach as I share with you the answer to that question. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. In order to answer that question, I have to ask you a few additional questions. I have to ask you whether anything that the hospital staff did was a cause of your injury. That stops most people in their tracks because now they have to think about it. They are so focused on what the hospital staff did wrong that they don't even consider what the implications are from a legal standpoint in order to bring a case. You see, in order to bring a medical malpractice case in New York, I have to show not only that there was wrongdoing, I have to show that the wrongdoing was a cause of your injury and, very important, I have to show that your injuries are significant and or permanent. And all of those things have to be confirmed by a medical expert who has reviewed your records or a treating doctor who has reviewed all your records. So just because you get in your mind that hospital staff did not treat you appropriately does not automatically mean that you have a valid case. The second question I have to ask is, was any of that wrongdoing, was it a cause of, was there a link, to your injury? If the answer is yes, the next question I have to ask, which also stops people in their tracks, is, are your injuries significant and or permanent? Are they permanently disabling? Most people never even consider those questions because they are so focused on what was done wrong to them. And many times I'll ask, okay, what do you think was done wrong? And a lot of people will be able to articulate and to tell me in words, in their own words, what they perceive to be or what they think was done wrong. That's fine. But the moment I ask whether that wrongdoing caused harm and injury, they have to stop and think about that. And then when I ask whether those injuries are permanent and disabling, they have to stop and think about that also. Why? Because they don't focus on the injuries and the damages, they're focused on what was done wrong. And that's perfectly understandable. But from a legal standpoint, to determine whether or not you have a basis to go forward with a lawsuit against a careless doctor or hospital staff, it is critically important that I, as an attorney, evaluate each of those three elements that I've just discussed. We call them liability, causation, and damages. And you should know something important. If any one of those elements is missing, we can't bring a case. What do I mean? Well, if it turns out that the care and treatment you received is not a departure from the standard of care, and there could be other reasons for why something occurred, well, guess what? Then we don't have the first element necessary to bring a case. If somebody did something wrong, but that wrongdoing was not a cause of your injury, guess what? Then we don't have the second element, the second component of your case, which is causation. There has to be that link, that bridge between the wrongdoing and your injury. If that's not there, then guess what? You don't have a case. If we can show that there was wrongdoing and that the wrongdoing caused you injury, but, but that your injuries are not significant or permanent or disabling, then from my viewpoint, it becomes impossible to go forward with a case. There may be some attorneys who disagree and are willing to investigate and look into that type of case, but that's not something that I'd be able to look into. So we have to have all three elements present before we can go ahead and do a full detailed investigation. So don't think for a second that just because you perceive someone at the hospital to have done something wrong, that you can go ahead and start a lawsuit against the hospital. The reality is a full detailed evaluation has to be done to determine, number one, whether the hospital staff was careless, number two, whether that carelessness was a cause of your injury. It does not have to be the cause, it only has to be a cause, and whether your injuries are permanent and significant or disabling. Only then can we go ahead and say, okay, let's do a full detailed evaluation. Let's get all of your records. We'll send your records out to a qualified medical expert to give us a formal opinion about what went on with you. So why do I share this quick information with you? I share it with you just to open your eyes that just because you perceive that someone at the hospital did something wrong, that does not automatically equate to you being able to go forward with a medical malpractice case in New York. 
you know, I realize you likely have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, if your matter did happen in New York and you have not yet started a lawsuit and you believe that you have each of the three elements necessary to go forward, that the doctor did something wrong or hospital staff did something wrong and that was a cause of your injuries and your injuries are significant and now you still have questions but you have not yet started a lawsuit. You have questions? Pick up the phone and call me. You know I answer questions like yours every single day and I'd love to chat with you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. Well, that's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a fantastic day.